We have all the money, real Lisa Daily on Twitter. Here's what I think will happen with the SEC versus Ripple case. Judge Torres makes her decision, calls the attorneys to disclose her dis uh, decision. Before it's written in the books, the parties have a chance to settle in order to show both as winners. SEC wants sales before 2013 to 2015 or between 2013 to 2015 before FinCEN judgment declared securities. Everything after 2015 are not securities. Ripple pays a fine. Both sides can be seen as winners. XRP becomes the first altcoin to have clarity. It makes sense. It makes sense, right? Because uh, what, what, what we're looking at is a scenario where both sides are able to say that they won and you provide clarity, right? Because in that type of settlement, you do provide clarity that if you did it like Ripple, you know, uh, if you did it like Ripple from 2013 to 2015, you're going to get in trouble because they weren't doing KYC for all of the people that they were giving XRP to and selling XRP to. So that's why FinCEN came in and they had that settlement. Then Ripple became a money service business and started doing KYC on everyone. Now, the interesting thing is the SEC would be basically asserting that those sales were securities I don't think that those sales would classify as a security because once again, you still have an XRP currency network that's already developed. Had they built out all of the utility and had they built out on-demand liquidity? No, no, absolutely not. But it was already a completed uh, currency. It was already a decentralized network. Um, you know, so n nonetheless though, if they settle up, then Ripple doesn't even have to make that acknowledgement, really, that those were uh, sales of a security, right? Um, so once again, this case, very close, guys, very close. Uh, we're expecting a, a ruling from the judge here in the next couple months. By the end of March is what the lawyers are saying, okay? And, and I've just been saying this the whole time. I do think that it, it is going to be a settlement. Good guy Gary will get to cheer, clap, pat himself on the back, and then they get to hide all Hinman. They get to hide all the uh, Jay Clayton. They get to hide all the corruption, right? But um, they will still have the ability to go after 90% of the space that did the ICOs, did unregistered securities, ha didn't have a completed project, but they raised money and funds to fund that development. I am your host, Zach Rector. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you want to support the channel, just remember that you can start by smashing that thumbs up for me, sharing this content far and wide, and everything else is at my website.